Jeff Gertner from Stanford University, and I'm delighted to discuss a paper uh, by Luca Lancerata uh, that was published in this month's Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery. It builds on uh, much of the work coming out of Dennis Orgel's laboratory at Harvard Medical School, uh, which really seeks uh, to understand how uh, the predictability of fat grafting can be improved by uh, site preparation. There's much clinical uh, evidence, most of it anecdotal, implying that uh, preparing the site for fat grafting might be useful in improving predictability. Uh, the most well-studied device is the Brava device, uh, which has, um, again, anecdotally uh, shown uh, improvements in uh, fat graft survival clinically. The question that Dr. Orgel's laboratory is examining is why this is the case. And building on a paper that was published in 2012, um, using a mouse model, Dr. Orgel's group has examined uh, the way that negative pressure, like the Brava device, changes the area where fat will be deposited. Uh, at er very early time points, uh, literally within hours, uh, Dr. Orgel's group has demonstrated in this paper that edema uh, and proliferation begin to change. Uh, this is uh, followed by changes in inflammation with stimulation of inflammation that ultimately leads uh, to changes in vascular density, all of which should be thought uh, to improve fat graft take and ultimately survival. One interesting fact is that uh, very rapidly there are changes in oxygen tension, probably due to tension on uh, blood vessels, which lead to paradoxically hypoxia, uh, which one would think would not be beneficial. Uh, one of the uh, technical challenges in this paper is that there is no reactive hyperemia that occurs, uh, but this is probably a limitation of the hyperspectral imaging that is used uh, to evaluate oxygen tension. Uh, the take-home message of this paper uh, seems to be that negative pressure applied through Brava or other devices uh, increases uh, edema, uh, leading to uh, proliferation, inflammation, and ultimately changes in vascular density. All of these would be thought uh, to improve fat graft take and ultimately clinical outcomes. And hopefully further work from the laboratory will demonstrate uh, improvement in their preclinical models of fat graft retention uh, and take, uh, which should be readily doable given their uh, technical expertise. Um, I think this paper um, will be very important uh, as we try to improve the predictability of fat grafting, the ranges in the literature uh, go from 30% to 80%, and obviously anything with that much of a difference in predictability uh, would be problematic uh, in terms of patient outcomes and expectations. Uh, there's much work being done on understanding the role of fat-derived stem cells and different types of graft preparation, but I think Dr. Orgel and his group really have pioneered the examination of the site uh, and site preparation, uh, building on the work of Dan Del Vecchio and Roger Corey uh, using the Brava device clinically. Uh, hopefully this combination of preclinical and clinical work will lead to a more predictable uh, procedure that will benefit our patients. Uh, thank you for allowing me to review this excellent paper.